Okay, we're going to go over the general operation of the filler. Uh, this will be when you power up the screen you see. Uh, from here, you can go to your manual run. Um, this will jog the head or the auger. And then this is your agitation while you're jogging. If you want to go with fill, every time you jog that auger, the agitation will turn. And the agitation, there's a blade inside the hopper that turns slowly to help feed the product down into the auger. And then you have a continuous. If you hit return, it'll take you back to your um, startup screen. You can go in. This is your recipe screen. So what you have is you have turns, time, and weight. Um, this is for how the auger decides that it's satisfied filling product. I believe most of the time you're gonna fill in weight. Uh, you enter your weight in here, so you enter in 2.00, enter, and then this is your dribble amount. The dribble amount is the auger will go into a slow speed turn to top off to complete the weight. Again, here you have your agitation, off with fill continuous. Most of the time, I think you're gonna run with fill. Uh, right here, it'll allow you to type in uh, you know, your SKU number or the size fill that you're doing, and you'll hit enter, and then that'll save in your recipe. Again, return takes you back to your uh, startup screen here. In setup, you have a start fill delay. Um, that will go once you hit the foot switch. If you have three seconds in there, it'll wait three seconds, then it'll start to fill. Um, here you have your agitation shut off. If you were in continuous mode, it'll turn continuous, and then the amount of time that's in here, once the auger has stopped turning, for that amount of time, the agitation will shut off automatically. Uh, this setting here, your increment and decrement amount, will, right now it's at 0.1, and what that relates to is, in your auto run screen, if you hit less or more, you can see it goes to 2.10 pounds. If you hit less, it'll go back. So it just moves that 0.1 per time you push the button. Okay, so back at the startup screen, you can hit fill motor on. That turns on your fill motor. At this point, you'll go to your auto run screen. You'll hit start. You can go ahead and put your container on the scale. There's a foot switch here. Uh, this will be on the ground. This is what the operator will hit to initiate the fill. So right now I've hit the foot switch. And we did a fill. Okay. Uh, just show you how to change for different size containers. So at this point, um, we have our tall scale frame on. Um, it is adjustable. If you loosen this handle here, this will allow you to lift this plate up and down for different size containers. Um, you also have a jack. which you can use to jack up to different size containers also. This may be a little easier and faster if you're just going from, a, from your small container to you know, the next size up without having to change, loosen up and move that scale table itself. Um, you also see right here is a locking plug uh, you use an Allen wrench, and this locks the column once you get to the height that you want to be.
So now we're gonna go with this container and just show you a changeover for a nine to, uh, we'll go to a nine pound fill. So what I'm doing here is we're gonna fill nine pounds. The last two pounds we're gonna go into the slow speed and fill.